and Blake, uh, thank you for joining me today on Press Day for Prompt Pack. Thank you for joining yeah, everybody, us. Everybody's excited. You know, uh, March 30th on Disney Channel, right around the corner. Uh, I had the opportunity to watch it the, the other night. Loved it, everything. My favorite part, of course, is the 80s. I grew up in the 80s, so I love the 80s. What are you hoping for when uh, the viewers tune in to watch this? So people have fun watching yeah. it. You know, honestly, like I hope if they take something else away from it, great. But I just want people to have fun watching it because we had so much fun making it. Yeah. And I think we really made it to hopefully just bring people joy. Um, and so if it does that for anybody, then it was fully worth it in my book. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Yeah. What's your thoughts, Blake? Yeah, I'm with Peyton. I um I feel like the, the rom com genre is uh is so beloved and I was just kind of honored to be able to be a little part of that legacy. And I, I just want people to have a good time and to enjoy themselves and to hopefully feel something in their heart, you know, and <laughs> laugh and cry. Hey, uh, so we see <laughs> you as everybody. <laughs> We see you as uh, Mandy and Graham in the in the film. Uh, how was it connecting with these characters? Uh, what kind of spin did you put on them to get ready to film this? Uh, I think um, it, it, it was pretty easy for me to get into um, Mandy's headspace because she was going through everything, or she is going through everything in the film um, right after I went through it in my real life, um, applying to college, getting into college, um, dealing with friends and boys and senior year of high school and that that weird in between of one chapter ending and another chapter beginning and all the feelings that come with that. I mean, it was all so fresh for me because I was experiencing all of those things um, in my life at the time. And so I really just tried to infuse as much of my, you know, authentic experience um, into Mandy's character and hopefully into the movie as a whole. Um but yeah, that's I guess what it was for me. Yeah, I guess um, I tried to to bring as much as I could of myself into it. Australia, Australia, <laughs> <laughs> just to um, yeah, peace yeah. and love, peace and love, baby. Um, it's just yeah, yeah, with a character like Graham, uh, the jock, Mister Popular Basketball, high school captain, uh, it's. It's an archetype that's that definitely appears in a lot of rom coms. It's kind of like a staple that that you want to see. Mm -hmm. So it, it just became apparent to me that I had to put my own spin on it and and make it different to what's come before. So I no, guess and by it came to me. <laughs> and it came to me one magical night. <laughs> I must make this yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I just tried to to make him as real and three dimensional as possible, and hopefully mm -hmm. that story. What did you love about the chemistry between these two characters? I despise the chemistry <laughs> with this what one. Chemistry? <laughs> You're talking about chemistry. <laughs> no, it was um it was just great because Payne and I um as like as soon as I got cast, Payton reached out immediately. You love and, telling uh, people that I reached out and to then, you. And then and I also love telling people that, that I met her way through days to respond. But <laughs> when I finally did respond, we um we we bonded really really well over uh over facetime i was packing my bags and peyton was too and we we're facetiming while we we're doing that and i just think um that definitely helped uh with the film to make our chemistry <laughs> so-called chemistry yeah. yeah i mean i think um mandy and graham have such a fun relationship and i think they challenge each other and they make each other question sort of their beliefs about the world and I think you know that's such an important thing and when you find people that force you to to reach outside your comfort zone and grow as a person I think you find those people and you hold on to them um, because that's everything um, and so getting to kind of dive into that relationship with Blake um, was really fun when it wasn't horrible I would have <laughs> the to few admit. moments where it wasn't terrible yeah. it was not too bad yeah Amazing. Last question for each of you. Favorite like, 80s theme. Sure. Favorite side again. 80s sorry. what? Favorite 80s theme in the film. What was it? Favorite 80s theme? Yeah. In prom like, you mean like the prom proposals? Favorite 80s prom proposal? Yeah, we saw different themes in there. Which one did you enjoy the most from the 80s? Ooh. I would do you mean like the, the prom proposals that we did have that were like reminiscent of right. films? Which right. one was my favorite? Ooh. Oh. Um I love the uh 
If you say I was pretty, no, I'm not going to say mine, but there was a a little ode to John Cusack in there, which I'm like, love that. The Breakfast Club one was fun too. It's very fun to watch in person for sure. Yeah. They went all out. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. I want to thank you for giving me from yesterday on press day or March 30th on Disney Channel. Thank you again. Thank Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.